Hello, Aaron Lake Baptist Church. It's Pastor Danny again, and uh, back with another series of worship. Uh, this is the third week of our quarantine time, and uh, uh, so I'm. This is week number three. I'm trying to do at least one of these worship sets a week because once again, I I miss leading worship in the 9:30 service. Uh, I miss that service. It's very special to me, as I know that many of you miss the worship there, and. So I'm trying to just bring a little bit home to you where you can worship, uh, and not just on Sunday morning, but you can plug this in, turn it on, click on it, and worship anytime you want to, several times throughout the week. In fact, I encourage you to worship daily, uh, along with your Bible study time. Uh, maybe this will help you in, in that regard. But I want to do a couple of more uh, worship sets that we do here in our 930 service, and uh, hopefully it will minister and strengthen and encourage you. And it encourages me as well. I want to thank all of you for your positive responses to the, the first couple of sets that I've done. And uh, once again, God gets the glory, not Danny. This is, this is God. Uh, just, I'm just his instrument today. And I just want to let him flow and let his presence do the rest. So uh, will you join me? Let's start with a, a worship set that we do here, uh, Victory in Jesus, a great hymn of the faith. Let's do it together, okay? Let it be a 
first two uh, sets that I did, I just went straight through. I'm having to stop because my camera uh, sometimes will stop if I get too long on the video. I guess the camera knows better when to, for, for me, knows better for me to shut up than I do. So uh, at any rate, I'm just uh, just breaking the songs up into sets. I want to do a song about the name of Jesus here and a, and a medley about the name of Jesus uh, because it's... Uh, as I've said before, the name of Jesus is so powerful. And uh, there's many names for Jesus throughout the Word of God. And boy, if you take time to really get into the Word of God and study them all, you'll find that, that the names that he has have power and they have significant meaning. So the name of Jesus is something that we lift high. Jesus said, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men, women, boys, and girls unto me. And he does that uh, as we praise. I always thought it was a unique that uh, the armies of Israel, before they would send out the warriors, you know they put on the front lines? They put out the musicians, the singers. And they would, as the Bible says, they would praise the beauty of holiness. And, uh, and man, I'm telling you, and, and the praise of God's people, as the great hymn said, hell's foundations quiver at the shout of praise. And so we want to just worship his name today. Will you join me as I do that? Come on. Jesus, 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 there's just something about that name. But there's 
we're just really just, you know, bottom end feeders. We just really don't know what we're talking about. And this God thing is just a fairy tale. But I'm telling you, it's much more than that. Jesus Christ is Lord. And one day, every knee is going to bow and every tongue is going to confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Even Satan himself will have to, uh, to bow and he will have to submit and say those words. Jesus Christ is Lord because Satan is a defeated foe. It's a lot better to say he's Lord now than on that day when you stand before God. Because everybody's going to do it one way or another. So it's a lot better to do it right now. So let's, do you join me and let's just declare that Jesus Christ is Lord. Ready? He is Lord. He is Lord. earth he gave us a great commission sadly for some it's become the great omission because he told us to go into all the world and to reach people and to teach people with the gospel of Jesus Christ and uh, whenever he gave that mandate it was not uh, physically possible at that time because the known world had not been the existing world had not been discovered yet most of it We have this thing called the internet today, if you haven't noticed. And man, we've had so many people who are online uh, the last couple of weeks especially, broadcasting the gospel and their services and lifting up worship and literally is capable of reaching everybody who's got access to the internet. And that's a lot of people. And I know this is not the best uh, way that, that we can uh, do it. It's very, very different. I know that, that most of us are accustomed to, and I include myself in that group. But uh, I'm so thankful that we have this tool uh, available that we can still get, stay connected rather than just closing our doors and sitting behind our doors at home. So I just uh, hope that uh, during this time of great you know, chaos around us, that we'll use this as not look at it as such a bad thing, but look at it as an opportunity. It's not an obstacle as much as it is an opportunity for us to share the gospel of Jesus Christ and to share hope, a message of hope, not fear, because his perfect love cast out all our fears and all God's people sin. This is a song that we did, uh, started doing several years ago here at Aaron Lake Baptist Church, and our people have just fallen in love with it. I heard it years ago uh, when I was up in uh, Chicago and I uh, had a church conference there and a worship conference there and uh, just want to do it for you here today and maybe it'll comfort you and encourage you and, and just lift us up into the heavenlies right now. Let's do it.
Just say the word. Guess what, folks? He said the word. He said go. So we have to ask ourselves, are we obeying that command? 
And all God's people either said, Amen or Oh me. I want to leave you with one song that's always been special to me over the years. First time I heard it years ago, I fell in love with it. But it gives us a, a great spiritual truth about the, the grace of God. It's called, That's When I Feel Amazing Grace. And I know you say, well, Danny, we're Christians. We're not supposed to go on faith. feelings. We're supposed to go on faith. And I agree with you on that. But as our pastor loves to say, I wouldn't give you a plug nickel for a faith I couldn't feel every now and then. And all God's people said. This morning, I got to the church early and I was reading in the book of Joshua when they were about to go over into the promised land. He was a brand new leader of over three million people. Quite a job. A little bit of pressure there, you think? And... Uh, Joshua had that, uh, you know, experience where he told the people, he said, listen, go before, when you see the ark move, you go because we've not gone this way before. They were in uncharted territory, just like in many ways we're in uncharted territory today. But, you know, Joshua was trying to discern God's will. And uh, he saw a man coming towards him with a sword drawn in his hand. And he, and he drew his sword. He says, are you for us? or against us. And the angel said, Joshua, you don't understand. I'm not here to take sides. I'm here to take over. <laughs> and of course, that person was no, none other than the Lord Jesus Christ himself. And so, uh, there's a lot of battles we're having to face on many different fronts right now. And uh, I'm praying for you and Pastor Jeff, all the staff here. We're praying for you guys. And we hope that you're praying for us because tr trust us, we're in uncharted territory as well. And it's uh, just as it's difficult for many of you out there, everybody out there, we're having to overcome obstacles here as well. But you know, the times that it gets so tough and hard, that's the times when God's grace is just so sweet, isn't it? And that's the times that we just need to run to God. We need to run to God every day, but more often. When we're in trouble and in times of trouble, He is our high tower. That's another one of the names of Jesus that we were talking about a while ago. He's a place of refuge where we can run and we can uh, have a place of, of safety. And that's what God is. And His grace just sustains us and keeps us through these tough times. So I just want to share this song with you before I close out this session today.
God, we thank you for your amazing grace today. Thank you for his never-ending supply. That you're there for us 24-7. You never have us out of your sight. You never slumber. You never sleep. And Lord, I'm so thankful that you're here not to take sides, but you're here to take over. And Lord, all we have to do is just quit fighting in our own strength. Father, there are things that we have to do as believers. You're not going to do all the work for us. But Father, we don't have to do this alone. And you have never deserted us. You've never forsaken us. And God, I just thank you for your steadfast love, for your faithfulness, and for how you never lie. You promise that you will take care of your children. And you're faithful, Lord. You're faithful to your word. And you're faithful to your promises. So, Father, help us to run to you and help us to rest in you. If you're here today and you're saying, Danny, I just don't feel that peace. I don't see it. I don't feel it. I don't sense it. I get that. I understand. But regardless of whether we feel God's amazing grace or not, it's there. And God is at work. So rest in Him and let Him love you. Don't be afraid. We've not gone this way before, but God has. And all God's people said. God bless you, and I'll see you next time.